Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. And together, we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. What are we going to talk about today, Brad? Well, Bob, we're going to go back in history a little bit, talk about a little geometry. We're going to talk about the... Rhomboid. Rhombus. Oh, Rhombus. The Rhombus, which is one of these, they have to have two parallel sides, and they can shape it around any way you want. Oftentimes, they're shown... Four like sides, the, but kind of kitty wobbles. Well, yeah, but they have to have parallel sides. Oh, right? I gotcha. You know, th that's just a technical that's thing. That's the shape of a muscle called the rhomboid. All right, and that's why they call it the rhomboid is because of the shape, and it's right here. There's two rhomboid muscles, the major and the minor. They're actually right close next to each other. They connect to the spine and to the scapula, and there's one on the each shoulder side. Blade. Yep. And why do you care about this is because you... There's often pain in that muscle. That muscle can knot up and right. get that. Oh man, I gotta get very rid of irritating. That. Mm -hmm. So you know, this is actually like the person. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I fit. I fit yeah, that irritating. Sure ask, ask, ask my rhomboid. Ask my wife as well. Um, but one thing I want to mention, Bob, this muscle is a deeper muscle. Sure. It, trapeze or the yeah the, the middle trap yeah, and the lower trap cover this up so yeah. we need to get into that muscle if we want to right. loosen it up that's something we must keep in mind the knots that occur in this muscle often occur because you have poor posture right right or like your neck is forward and you also round it you mm. want to show bad on me the upper back so we want to get some this, leverage on that. Yep, this curved here, the blades yep. are rounded this way. That rhomboid is Under trying stress. to, uh, it's pulling it, it's stressing it, and uh, the spine, it's a, it's a big mess is what you right. get. We're going to show you some simple treatments for it. Sam, we have taken We're care of you. you. Look at this. If I sit here, you got your head up there about at eight feet, Sam here at six, and I'm down here at like eight four. Feet. Well, that's what some people say. I'm not kidding you. I have read, read a comment once. Uh, I'm six foot six. Yeah, and they thought I was four foot eight or something. <laughs> Anyways, a troll. <laughs> okay, right. so here we go. How are we going to get rid of this? First of all, you're going to work on your posture on a daily right. basis. That's going to be a big exactly. start. But when you got that pain, just straightening your posture is probably not going to eliminate it like that. Yeah. We're going to get into that muscle. It's a deep muscle. Uh, the first thing we're going to show you, if you happen to have a six inch roller. Uh, uh, oh no! Let's let's save that for later. Well, Bob. I'm thinking you really should stretch it first and then strengthen. Okay, let's do it that Instead, way. Uh, okay. How are you going to stretch it? Well, with the roller and with the balls, and then strengthen it. Yeah. So we'll save the W's for last. Right. We're going to change my order. Yeah. So, you know, if you happen to have a roller, these work very well. I'm going to put it on the floor. It doesn't have to be a a three foot one. It can be the shorter one, and that's what I use. I use the short one because it's a little easier but there's some options you can with buy this. a three-footer cut it in yeah. half and give the other half to someone you like right or if you don't like them <laughs> just you know try to get to know them better so <laughs> go back and forth like this and i'm right on the rhomboids right here just because i know my anatomy and oh i just had my cavitation crack there we go this is a point oh. of interest uh we prefer that you don't roll all the way into your low back yeah That'll, not down here that, that will not feel good mm -hmm. so just stay to the mid back and the rhomboids and i love this one i yeah. do it every morning i did this morning so Brad, are you done now? Yeah, it's about, you know, you can spend at least one to two minutes doing that. Um, there you go. If you don't have one of these, we're going to show you some options. You can use a tennis ball Ooh. or a lacrosse ball. This is a bit of a softer ball. We actually made it softer by cutting a uh, slit in it. Right. Probably too soft for this one. Right. But, uh, Not if you're just starting, though. Well, that's I true. It... We'll put that down there. Bob, you want to show them where I'm going to do it? Yeah. So we're going to hit... In between the shoulder blade and between the spine. Here's the spine running right down the middle. Here's the shoulder blade. Here's the shoulder blade. You can hit anywhere uh, along that area, six areas. And, it, and that's going to hit the rhomboids. Yeah, it's going to hit the rhomboids. Just like on Sam. Yeah. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but just to show you. But oh. again, this can be aggressive if you've never done it before oh. and you're just starting off. And that's why we recommend you might want to start with the slit or you yeah. might put a towel over it or you might have a pillow under your head. I mean, all these things. 
Boy, this lacrosse ball is very aggressive, and if you haven't done it before, I would not start with right. one. But you can adjust, like my arms and my feet. I'm, I'm adjusting How the much pressure. Stress you're putting on it. Yeah. Oh, well, now, I'm getting you, in there. If you Ooh. find that you do like this, um, eventually what you may want to do is uh, purchase a, a back pod. And what this does is it actually has uh, a different shape that seems to fit this perfectly. It, uh, it's specifically designed yeah, for, for this. The, right. Um, yeah. And it's if you ever have costochondritis, this was my key to quit going yeah. to the doctor with chest pain. Um, but anyways, same thing. It works very well. Bring the arms way oh. up. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I use this on a regular basis, do both sides. But yeah, this really gets into the muscles where that rhomboid is. And it's going to do the job very well. Oh. Okay. All right. Now, if you, it is way too aggressive for you, you can take a tennis ball and put it into a sock. Right. And you can actually go up to a wall. And actually start off this way by not putting as much stress on the area. And the so reason it's in a sock is you can see Bob can... I can easily manipulate it then. It so doesn't can, fall down yeah, to the floor. Right. <laughs> so I got it right there. This actually feels pretty good, Brad. Yeah. It's I a mean, wonderful you, you deal. You really control how much stress yeah. you put on it. I, I highly suggest take your sock and your tennis ball a clean to sock. work. Yeah, and go up against the wall, and it won't be long. And the whole office, people, everyone's going to bring their sock and tennis ball. Yeah, they'll be if, working the wall. Craze. We'll have a wall area designated if for craze on TikTok. <laughs> the, I do want to mention one thing that works really well with this. You know, it's a lot cheaper than a lot of things. And if you put two of them in and you set them down on the floor, you actually get both set of rhombuses at the same time. Yeah, you can go right uh, on either side of the spine. Yeah, and you can roll on it, and that's the nice thing about using these tennis balls. So, you know, if you know anybody that plays tennis, get their old balls, or you can go down and buy some new ones if you want. Or, you know, kids that have tennis ball games, just take it from them. They usually lose them anyway, so right. who knows the difference? Take them for your dog. <laughs> Now, after you stretch, that's when you want to strengthen, yeah. right? So what are we going to do for that? Well, Bob, we're this is a simple exercise. We're going to do the Ws, and we're going to actually pull back shoulder yep. blades together. And we're strengthening those rhomboids. Yeah. And if you want to go back, and the rhomboids actually pull up, and think about those elbows going yep. up. But it's really not that critical. Right. They're all going to work. This is all good for you to... to Put those shoulder blades yeah. together and make the W. You can see the W on well, I make it with my arms. Yeah. If you want to do resistance, you can do it this way. You got your bands and you use your yeah, attachment to the door. It's really good to add resistance because or, it's gonna it's gonna stay better. Yeah. And the thing is with resistance is you're gonna do it until you feel those muscles fatigue. Because when posture. they fatigue they relax just because they're tired. So you can yeah. get rid of that knot as a result of fatigue. Oh, mm, I'm feeling good, Bob. <laughs> I'm feeling strong like bull. you're not looking good. I know. No. My wife keeps telling yeah, me. I yeah. says, dear, I can't help it. It's the aging process. You know what she said to me? What did she say? Because I, I yeah. said the S-H-I-T word. Oh, because something happened. And she said, Bad. you're saying that a lot more lately as you get older. She says, I say it in my sleep now. That was the one. I do. I, 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 said, I said, you got to record it. You got to record that in my, I guess I do. Funny. Yeah. But, no, I was going to say is my mom would never swear. Yeah. She's a very religious woman. And once she said the word S-H-I-T-T-Y, yeah. and, and like it was a scandal in our household. Ooh. All the kids were talking like, did you hear mom said that word? Was that when you were born? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she starts wearing everything. Yeah, that that. diaper. It, it's uh, so she still doesn't. No. Oh, no, good, no. good. My dad was a swearer. Oh, really? He was a friendly swearer. They balance each yeah, other. Yeah, they balance each other. Yeah, there's nothing. You yeah, know, so. yeah. If, if it's all in fun, it's different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's another story. Thanks for watching, everybody.